that. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you modeling the new IKEA unit? Yes, mummy. <laughs> so guys, um, this is a very quick video. Um, if you watch my beauty haul, you would have seen that I did mention that I was going to show this in that video, but I just felt that that video was quite long and I thought I'd do this individually anyway, because I think this might be something, if people are searching for it, when I did a search to kind of research what it looked like and kind of an idea of the size. The only videos that came up were showing like this store and crafting products, cards and cardboard and things like that. And I, I didn't see any with the storage of makeup. And the reason I wanted to get this particular trolley is it's very sturdy and it's great to move around. Like where I've got a place now on a morning when I sit and do my makeup, I can pull this round and I can literally sit and reach into there and get everything I need. I've got all my brushes on the top and on the front and it is amazing. I'm so loving using this and it's really, really made a huge difference because everything that's in the top of there was in, there was letter racks that I had that had the palettes in and now everything's in there. This holds so much stuff, it's brilliant. And on top of the desk here, you can see I've got the space. Well, the only space I had literally was this little section here and all of the rest of the desk surface was just covered in things <laughs> because I like everything out where I can see it and use it. If it's all shoved in drawers, there's just no point in that. For me, if you've got a makeup collection, then you should be able to use it, not just get it and shove it in a drawer. So this trolley is called, I think it's a rack sog, but I will link it in the information bar below. It comes in three different colours. I'm sure one of them's ivory, I think it's silver, and then there's this lovely sort of Tiffany blue colour. It's like an aqua colour, it's gorgeous. So I did debate on get, just getting the silver, but I just couldn't resist the blue, basically. Um, it was £50, so it's quite pricey, but it's very, very sturdy. Um, there is a £20 one that I did have my eye on that looks very nice also, but this is the one that really grabbed me. And it's just great because I've got this little space down here. And the cream drawers from Ikea are over here now. Which has plenty of space there for them. And that's basically got in the top drawer are the palettes I don't use too much. Which are more sort of high street. Which were cluttering up the shelf over here. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then the rest of it is sort of um, backups of things. Which I think I've done a video on this before, but it's just a lot of stuff I got in three for two, some stuff I got from glossy boxes and stuff like that. So that's just basically there now. So this actually swoops back into this space here, but I've got it out so I can actually show you it. And I've actually tidied up here because this was completely covered in products and I've moved some products from the top shelf and they're in now in the trolley so this is looking a lot tidier. I'm actually using things more because I've got access to everything now. Um, yeah, so... And there's Jamie Lee on the windowsill. But I'm going to show you what's in my trolley. So. So this is the top layer of the trolley. As you can see, these are really quite deep. And as I said, very sturdy. The top shelf and the bottom shelf are, have to be a certain height. But the middle one you can actually manipulate. And I've just got it where it is. It's just handy where it is. Although I may move it up at some point. I don't know. Um, so let's start with the top. In the top I've got this container and it's got a large section and a smaller section and this was basically 80 pence from Ikea. It's amazing. I've got my MAC palettes in here. So my contour, my curl neutral and my two double sided and I have another single one coming um, which is in my American haul. I haven't actually got it yet. It's sitting in my, my American mailbox because I've got a couple of quads that I really just want to put into a single and make sort of a smoky palette. Um, so that's the MAC palettes there. And then I've got my favourite contour palettes, which is Too Faced and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've got my Creme de Couture eye palette, my Zoeva mirror. Then down the side there in that little gap, I've got my Shade and Light by Cat and Von D, which is eye and contour for cheeks. And then I've got my Zoeva Naturally Yours, Zoeva Smoky, my two Too Faced palettes, my three Cat Von D, um, Lorac Pro 2, and the Nude Tude palette, my two Sugar Pill palettes, and my Morphe, and my two Smashbox palettes. And then in front of that are all of my brushes. Um, so these are the Neve Cosmetics ones. That's including the eye ones in there as well. Then I've got this, which is, it's Smashbox, Urban Decay, MAC. It's all the stuff that you kind of get free. 
mainly <laughs> with like palettes and stuff although there are some MAC brushes and some Urban Decay that I've bought. The next thing is this little Paris jar that I showed you in the beauty haul and in here I've got my two Sigma face brushes, my Sigma Ethereal Radiance set and then I've got my Real Techniques Bold Metals Powder and my, what should be there, my Bold Metals Contour. And then in this container from Asda I've got my Zoeva eye brushes and then I've got in this little one at the end these are my Sigma SFX kit. So that's everything on the top. I love how it looks. Everything's so accessible. I love that all the palettes that aren't Urban Decay because all my Urban Decay palettes are together and then I've got some sleek palettes. Everything is totally accessible and usable. Then I got these. Now these are, I think they're called Fintop and I got the hooks. Basically you can get the hooks and hang them up on a rail but I've just decided to hang them on the front here. I have got them sellotaped at the back because this metal bit, if it stays up under the rim then this, the top of the plant pot goes underneath the shelf. So that's sellotaped to keep it like at an angle. But in here these are all my Sigma eye brushes and then these are all my Zoeva face brushes. These are my most used brushes so they're great that they're on the front. Now underneath I've got two glossy boxes full of basically beauty stuff. Stuff that I'm using like my mythic oil and some samples and lots of stuff from glossy box and it's all hair and skin. And then down here I've got um, my Sephora Iconic palette, a fan because I use that when I'm doing my makeup to dry kind of the sprays that I use. I've got a comb, some clips for my hair and a facial massager. And then I've got in here my elf brush stand which has got three like sort of sections and I just dropped that in there because it just fits really well and these are basically all of my Real Techniques face brushes um, and a couple of other bits and pieces there's a Morphe and then there's um, one of these that I got from eBay and I've got a brush cleaning spray and then I've got this little pot that's got all my mini MAC brushes in it and I've got a flannel down there to clean them and then underneath on the bottom which you can't really see too well from here but under here in this little white container this is some of my SFX stuff so the bottom shelf is actually just going to be all SFX I haven't got the rest of it down yet because the rest of it's on top of the wardrobe because I only really use it at Halloween or I did but now I plan to use it more so all the SFX is going to go into the bottom drawer or bottom sort of tray I guess because I really really wanted to start using my SFX and doing more of that and I wanted it to be accessible and this just holds so much stuff it's fantastic it's cleared everything up it's tidied everything everything looks fantastic on here and then I got some more of these little shelves these are called Variera they're only two pounds each and you can put them inside kitchen cabinets to create more room and space this is a deep one but the ones that I got just like this time I got two of these here and they're screwed together just because I have my mirror on the top that I use getting ready I've got my MAC sprays there then I've got my Ben Nye powders in here uh, my Rihanna brush and then I've got my glosses underneath and that I think it just looks great in this corner just really looks nice with all these like sort of shelving units and it kind of fits in with everything else and then over here I did pick up another one of these Varieras and this one is to put all of my eye stuff on top and then underneath is my lip stuff so general sort of lip liners and stuff then I've got my Kat Van D stuff in here and then I've got this cleared and empty ready for my Colourpop liquid mattes um, which I've just ordered um, and when they come into the mailbox I'll probably ship everything together at that point and then you'll see a haul and then I actually got this which I used to have my glasses in and I've organised all my Colourpop lippies into that then these are my other sort of liquid matte lipsticks and stuff here in these three glasses and then I've got my colour pop liners there. And then I basically was able to clean out this shelf. Um, I don't have a lot behind here that I use but here in this basket I've got um, this, these are my brow things so that's in that one and then in the middle are my contours and then that's my mascaras and then that's all my slick palettes back there. Sorry it's a bit dark in there. But that's basically tidied that shelf up all of the surface of my desk give me so much more room so I can have my notebook out because I like to make notes sometimes when I'm doing videos so I know what I've used I can have my camera I can have clean and brush cleaning out and it just looks so much better and I'm going to put this back into this slot and show you what it looks like do you think somebody wants their dinner guys <laughs> it's dinner time she doesn't know that word she still hasn't got used to it all right so this is what it looks like 
set in place sits back perfectly so it doesn't stick out outside the desk and it just looks great even Alec when I'd organized it came in on the night time and he just looked at it and he said wow he said that looks really great he, I mean you know and that's coming from a bloke <laughs> he was like you've done such a good job he says you know he was like oh you've got such a good vision um, but yeah that is what it looks like and I really really love it and it's just perfect that it's mobile because it c that was the thing I needed all my brushes close to hand I didn't want to have to keep getting up and with this trolley this is a great space saver but it's also great because you can pull it around next to you where you're working and you can utilize everything on there so you're not having to store things in a place where you can't reach them which is why I think it's so good and it just looks so cute too so that's it for today's video guys. I have just moved something quickly over here. Um, I moved these palettes out, my Sephora palettes, um, my Cinderella, my Ariel and my Jasmine. So yeah, it's so just kind of moved things forward a bit here. It's actually better because it makes the, when I get the Colourpop liquid lipsticks, they'll be more accessible there. And I just moved the Kat Von D's over there. So yes, I'm very pleased with it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching as always. I'm going to love and leave you there and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing and whoever you're doing. She's falling asleep. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And I'm going to see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.